Hi loves, um, I'm gonna do a quick, I know it's kind of like August favorites video. It's a bunch of stuff, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start off with body. So one of my favorite, favorite, favorite shampoos is the Aussie Confident with Confidently Clean Shampoo. It's amazing balls. This is a 29.2 fluid ounce, and I got this actually at Family Dollar for like six bucks, and it comes with the pump, which is perfect. I absolutely love that shampoo. It really just cleans out everything. And for conditioner, I'm using the Palmer's Coconut Oil. Form. It has no sulfates, no parabens for fine limp hair, which is mine. It's really great. I try to use a little bit of this every two to three days when I wash my hair. Because I can't overwash. And once a week, I'll do the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. And I got that one also in Family Dollar. I believe it was like $4. This I got for $2.99 in the store in Liquidators in New York. I don't know if you guys have a Liquidators in your area, but definitely Google it. You never know. I got this for $2.99. And I do this once a week as a deep conditioner. And for body lotion, I've been using a lot of the Luberderm Daily Moisture Lotion, which is awesome for the summer, especially since I got burned on my shoulders and my back. This really helped a lot keep it moisturized with no scents. It's great. Really try it. It's very moisturized. For face, this is like my holy grail cleaning. And I got this also in Family Dollar for I believe it was $4.79. You can get it in your local drugstores. They carry it. It's amazing. I really recommend it, especially if you have sensitive skin and it's not really acne prone, but if you put it on your face and you tend to break out, this is really great. I absolutely love it. I use the Clinic Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. So amaze balls. Anything with oil free for me, I love it. And it's not really tacky or thick. It's really it's really good. It's lightweight on the face. You don't feel like you got so much crap on before you put your makeup on, which I love because I get really overheated in the summer like anyone else would, but it's really good. And to tone, to tone my skin right after I moisture, after I wash, I tone first, then I moisturize. And I'm using the Rose Petal Witch Hazel with Aloe Formula. Gentle moisturizes with vitamin E. I was using the Clean and Clear because Clean and Clear also has a toner. But I was trying this only because it's gentle moisture and has vitamin E and it was great for the summer. And this I got in Whole Foods for I think it was about $5.99. And it's really a decent size. And that's. And I've only used that much because I actually did like a mist spray. But it's really good. With a cotton ball and you're good to go. So same with the hair theme or body theme. I Aquanet All Day All Over Hold 3X Super Hold Hairspray. And it's fresh fragrance. And I actually love it because as you can see it really holds your curls. And just spray it. And it's, I don't know, the smell for some reason reminds me of when I was in junior high school. But I love it because it just holds your curls and everything. And I was only $2.50 in deals. It's another version of a 9S and store family dollar, but it's in between prices. And it was $2.50 and it's the 11 ounce, so it's the big can. Not bad. And this is one of my holy grail products. I really, really, really high, um, highly recommend this. This is the Gotta Be Powerful um, Volumizing Styling Powder. And this is for girls that, like me, have very thin, fine hair. And they can be teasing every day because, you know, for the volume. Because if not, your hair is going to start breaking and falling out. This is a really great alternative. It comes in a finely milled powder form. Like that. And you just go and you just put it a little on your hair. Oops. And you just rub it. And it just stays volumized like it's amazing this is like my holy grail and this was in Friday for $6.99 it's small but it's small with a big bang you only need a little bit and it goes a long way and it's I'm telling you holy grail if you want to review on it I will definitely do it 
but it's amazing for volume if you don't want to be teasing your hair every day. Really great. I'm also using the Copper Tone Oil Free Faces. This is a sunblock that I also use on my face if I'm going to be outside all day. Or just going outside in general because you always got to protect your face. That's like number one. And my primer that I've been really loving is the Remo Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. It mattifies your skin if you have an oily T-zone. It's really great and it really works. Like, I barely have to blot when I have that on the money underneath my foundation. And one of the two foundations that I've been really, 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 really wearing is... This is not really my color, but I mixed it up with any other darker ones that I have laying around the house. Which could be my Stay Fabulous. I mean, <laughs> Stay Fabulous. The Stay, the Super Stay Makeup 24 Hour. I have that one in caramel. And I also have this one, the Revlon Color Stay in caramel. So I kind of mix it up. But I usually use this one or this one. This one is mainly my normal be out all day. And this one is my normal go out and, you know, come back home real quick. A great, great foundation for the drugstore. Mm, I can't leave this one. This is my Pure White Gardenia Body Ecology Body Spray. So if you just feel like spritzing instead of wearing perfume, this is really great. It smells divine. Like I got compliments. Amazing. Or if not, the Britney Spears Curious Perfume. I got this one in TJ Maxx, I believe, for $24.99, which is not bad. This one I got for $2.99 in Beth Beth. Bed Bath & Beyond, yeah, in the travel section. For shades, I've been living my Steve Madden Aviators. Absolutely love aviators, hand down. I'll wear this if I'm not going to the park or anywhere that's to be, and I don't want to lose my good ones. If not, I will be wearing my Ray-Bans. And they're also aviator style. These are the polarized lens. I love it. What what? Absolutely love these. So these are the polarized ones, which is like an anti glare for when you dry because in the summer that's on BB man, and I need to know who's in front of me, so I'm gonna hit them. So what else? The brushes that I've been like using like almost every day. You can see they're kind of dirty. So use that. This one is angle blush. I got these from Royal Brush and um, I match last year is the angle. This is the Elf Powder Brush, and that's exactly what I use it for, to pat on a little powder on my T-zone. And this one's 6 Plus Kabuki Top, and it's very familiar to the F80 from Sigma, and I got these on eBay for, I think it was 5 brushes for $14.99, so I'll definitely leave the information on the bottom bar. But these are my 3 brushes, amazing. The concealer, I'm going to go all over the place, the concealer I've been really loving is the new is the age rewind and this i've been using a lot right here as a highlight or if i not i didn't get enough sleep the, the you know the night before and i'm like feeling kind of uh kind of in a funk i'll put this on and it just brightens my face up which i love now for setting powder i'm using the cover girl clean oil control press powder and I got this one from Burlington actually, I think it was for like $5.99. I did a haul so you could just look back and you could see the haul I did. It's, and it's like, it's like, it goes on like transparent, which is awesome. I always wear this to set my T-zone because I'm always oily and shiny. To contour, I don't really contour. I just bronze and I use the NYX Matte Bronzer. And it's the color light. I like it. As you can see, I kind of, not really, I'm close to hitting pastel. I'll wear it. It's just, I don't know, to me it has more of an orange undertone. Which is not me. I'm more of a yellow undertone. But it's still good. Or if not, I use my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. In the color bronzing. 728 Sunny. And this you could get... And any drugstore that sells NYC for $2.99, I'm always hitting pan, almost. See, because I used to just use this one just to bronze my face a little, not really contour. And you can see the color difference. So 
so you can see what I'm talking about. See how this one's a little more orangey and this one's not? That's always tend to go towards this one instead of this one. But this one I got at IMAX and I believe I got it for $4.99. So that's not bad. The blushes that I've been loving is the Milani Big Blush in Luminoso. Amazing, great pigmentation. I got this in a drugstore, so you can get this at any drugstore or online. I got this actually from cherryculture.com. And I got all the colors, and I think it was like $4.99 each. As you can see, it would it would have came with a little bump, and it's I'm almost hitting pan on it. <laughs> I'm gonna die if I do it. I love it. Um, and for highlight, I've been using a lot of the Elf blush in Giddy Gold. It comes like this. These are three dollars, unless you get them on sale for fifty percent off, which is a dollar fifty. Which, you know, I get all my stuff for $1.50. And it's actually beautiful. It's gold, but with, like, gold little reflex on it. See? Beautiful. And I just put it here in my highlight. And you just see that. That sheen. That beautiful little... I absolutely love it. Because, well, surprisingly, it's really pigmented. 43 bucks, So, it's not bad. And also, for concealer, I've been using this palette that I actually got online. As you can see, I already hit pen on this, so now I'm working over here, and I just mix colors to so try to, you know, like I always say, if you never find your color, you can always customize your colors. So this is amazing, and also makes four bucks, and it brings a whole lot of colors you can mix up. I've been using the one to clean my eyebrows, or to like spot check, or whatever. Really great. To remove my makeup, I've been really loving the e.l.f. Makeup Remove Cleansing Cloths. I only had one until I just racked up on their sale. But these are really amazing. Like, for $3, you get $20, and it's not bad. With one single one, you could take off your whole makeup. If you guys want to review, because I also got the Nushina one, I can do a comparison, and you can see. And remember, my makeup is like, full on, cover, stays, it's a lot to stay on my face so to take it off I really need something that's actually durable and it works for eyebrows like I always tell you girls I always try to like darken my arch a little more I've been using the wet and wild ultimate brow kit in the color ash brown this is also $2.99 and any drugstore sells wet and wild mine's already finished but I already got two more backups so I use the color in the center. If I'm dying to find just like an eyeshadow with that, that color, so I won't have to be keep, you know, repurchasing it and wasting the other two products on the bottom. Because this is the wax on the top, the white one, and these are the two colors. And I use just this one. Because if your hair is black or dark brown like mine, you don't want your eyebrows black. So I always use this brown. Even my natural eyebrows are kind of black, but you know. We don't want to intensify it. And it comes with a little angle brush. I absolutely love it. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. I know Milani has one. I have yet to try it, but I am good with this one. Absolutely amazing. Mascaras. These are the two, three that I've been really loving. And two are Maybelline and one is Remmel. So this is the Remmel Glam Eyes. I use this actually for my bottom lashes, as you can see. Only because of the brush is so small. Look at the little bristles. They're not really going to do nothing to my top. So I really love them for the bottom. Amazing, amazing, amazing. They really, like, I don't know if you can see. Long. I love it. And I believe it's only like $5.99. Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express Waterproof. Because you know, I love waterproof. They hurled up the curl. The brush is amazing and I do this from root to top and it's just wow I love it and for the ends for the length I usually use the falsies volume express and these are also $5.99 unless you can get them on sale which I do buy one get one 50% off the brush is different as you can see it has a more of a little hump in the front so this is different between the brushes real quick so one is more fluffier and fatter and one is more narrow over the curve to pick up your whole lash. I absolutely love it, hands down. These are my two favorite, favorite, favorite. 
I just got um, the Great Lash from Sephora, which I'll do the upload after this. I love this CoverGirl Professional. It's just clear mascara. Because I didn't have my elf one, so I had to buy one. I got this one for $5.99. And this I used to, to set my hair on my eyebrows so that it won't move anywhere and go yeah, all over the place. Eyeliner, I've been really loving this Revlon color stay in black, and it's just the felt tip, and it's great to do. I didn't use it today, I used brown, I used the Physicist Formula one, which I'm actually actually liking because it's not dark brown, it's more like a ash brown. I love it. Amaze Balls. And primer, I've been really liking my e.l.f. eyelid primer to set my eyebrow before I put the color and also just control the oils on my eyelids. It's been really working and you get this also for a dollar in e.l.f. And for eyelashes, I've been loving the e.l.f. natural eyelashes. And people, some people say they're plasticky, but they're really not. They're really good. Look, they move like nothing and I'm not even forcing it. And I have them on today. So they give you like that extra length. They look natural. I absolutely love them. They were a dollar. I mean, you can't be a dollar. A dollar. And they look, they remind me a lot of the cherry culture because I do have some as a wispies and I love them. Those I wear in the summer, I'm gonna go out, I put them on and keep it moving. My favorite hands down is the Revlon Lash Precision Blue and amazing it dries like that once you just swipe it on you can put your eyelashes you don't have to be blowing on a duo one like they usually do this is hands down my favorite and it has a little brush applicator so you just brush it on the lash grip the lash put it on you're good to go I mean you don't put it on your natural like you put on the fake lash but it's really really good it dries instantly so that's all I'm already at Oh, Jesus Christ. 18 minutes? Sorry. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I use for June, July, and August. This is my summer routine. So I hope you guys enjoy. And guys. And stay tuned.